Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an easy everyday spring makeup tutorial. It is officially spring according to the calendar so I am ready for a spring look. It's not necessarily very warm outside but that's okay. We're just going to be doing something that is very spring inspired, very fresh. I want the skin to look really dewy and I'm also going to be using a lot of products that I'm just into right now that I would recommend to you anyway. And also it's been a while since I've done this but I really wanted to do a tutorial where I recommend both high-end and drugstore options per category of products so that no matter what you're looking for you can get the same effect at any price point so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be kind of going back and forth from drugstore to high end based on what I've been using the most but all the other products that I will mention are definitely equals in my mind on either side of the price range. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start off with complexion. I usually start off with complexion when I'm doing an easy everyday look. That's because that's the priority for me. You know I don't care about having like a super intricate like glitter cut if I don't have time to do face makeup. For me, skin is priority, and if you don't have that much time to get ready in the morning, I wanna make sure I show you guys what I do to get the complexion looking as good as possible because I really do feel like you can shortcut the eyes and the lips and all those other things. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This is something that I have not stopped using since I repurchased it. I did a video where I redid my very first makeup tutorial that I ever filmed here on YouTube. This was part of the tutorial and so I picked up a new one solely for that video and now I can't get enough of it all over again. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to start to apply it all over the skin. I personally like to focus it on the high points of the face because underneath foundation I feel like throughout the day especially it starts to kind of show through the foundation a little bit more but I do apply it all over the face. I just focus it on those areas. Also, I should mention for any everyday look that I do, I always wear sunscreen. So today I'm wearing the Drunk Elephant sunscreen, the Umbra Sheer, just their plain one, not the tinted one. And then I put on a little bit of the Super Goop Mineral Eye Cream. It's like a sunscreen eye cream. It's up in my bathroom, so I don't have it here to show you guys, but I will have them linked down below. I've been really, really enjoying the eye cream. The Drunk Elephant sunscreen is something that I've been using for years now, and I do alternate sunscreens. I don't know. I'm kind of like a sunscreen freak, so I have a lot of favorites, but that's just what I'm wearing today. Okay, my current go-to foundation for every day and also for glam looks is this one right here. This is the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. Oh, you guys, I forgot. Okay, we got to backtrack a little bit because I will forget to do this the entire video if we don't. An affordable option for a glowy base is this right here. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business Illuminating um, Skin Primer. Yeah, it has a very similar tone and very similar effect to the Becca one, so I wanted to make sure to share that. All right, back to foundation. I'm gonna be using the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Foundation. I can't stop using this, I love it so much. I wear the shade 108 Light, and then a drugstore option that I have been loving so much, but I haven't used it as long as I've used the Dose of Colors is this right here. This is the Revlon Color Stay Normal to Dry Skin Foundation. I wear this in the shade 150 Buff. It is so good, you guys. So two options that will give you a very similar effect. I'm gonna be using the Dose of Colors one since I am more familiar with this one. I feel like just one pump does the trick for me. It gives me a beautiful coverage. This is the foundation where I don't have to set the entire thing and it looks incredible all day long. I don't know how it works and I also don't know how it gives such incredible coverage but does not look heavy on the skin. It's like a miracle. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to start kind of applying this on the cheek area because that's where I need the most coverage I feel. And then I'm just going to start to take what's left on the brush and I'm going to start blending it inward. Also going to make sure to apply some on the forehead. And you can already see the great coverage that this gives. It baffles me every single time I use it and it also baffles me honestly every time I wear it for a long period of time because it is truly one of the most beautiful long wearing foundations that I've ever owned. So that's kind of why I love to use it on both an everyday basis and also for more glamorous occasions because I just know it will last which is something that I look for in an everyday foundation obviously but also the coverage and the luxurious finish is something that I always look for for more of a nighttime look or something that will photograph well or whatever it might be so this has genuinely been my current go-to foundation. I'm just taking my sponge and making sure to press in the foundation even more into the skin. All right, for concealer, I'm gonna be going into the 
corresponding concealer. So it's the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue Concealer. Um, I wear the shade 08 Light in this. For a drugstore option, you could use the Revlon Color Stay Concealer because it pairs really nicely with the Color Stay Foundation. Both of those Revlon products are newer to me, but I did a wear test with them recently. I'll have that video linked down below when I tried them out and I loved them both. They are so, so good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dot this underneath the eyes a little bit. And I'm also gonna take it down the center of the face just a bit. And for today's video, because it's an easy everyday tutorial, I'm not gonna worry about um, using a different shade for blemishes. This actually oxidizes a little bit, so it ends up matching my skin tone pretty closely once I blend it out. And I'm trying to keep things pretty simple here. Since a lot of us don't always have tons of time to get ready in the morning, it's always good to kind of find shortcuts in your makeup routine for when you don't have as much time. I'm just gonna take the same exact sponge and blend out the concealer all over the face. And this concealer, along with the foundation, is another one of those products that really does not need to be set with powder for it to last all day, which is another reason why I feel like I've been reaching for the Dose of Colors products, is because I feel like I can skip even powder all over the face, which for me, you know, saves even more time, so. Okay, once that is blended out, we're gonna go into bronzer. I have been equally loving both of these bronzers. One is newer to me and one I have rediscovered. It's been a part of my collection for a long time, but I feel like I've been kind of reaching for things that I already own a little bit more recently. And this is one of those things that has come back in my routine and I love it. So this is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze Bronzer. I love the baked formula and I also love how it has a little bit of a radiance to it. I just feel like that adds an overall healthy glow to the skin at the same time as bronzing up the skin. The other one that I've been loving equally is the Revlon Skin Lights Bronzer. This is a little bit newer to me, but I cannot stop using it. It's beautiful. This definitely has more of a sheen than the Bare Minerals one, um, but both give a very similar overall effect. This also has a little bit more of a golden undertone where this one has a little bit more of like a neutral undertone. This is the shade Fair to Light in the Bare Minerals and this is the shade Sunlit Glow in the Revlon one. I'm gonna be using the Revlon one today because I'm very, very excited about it. I love it. So I'm just gonna take that on a brush and I didn't use any setting powder yet. So I'm just going to kind of press this into the skin instead of buffing it because I don't have any powder laying on top of the foundation. I do feel like this foundation kind of self sets a little bit and it has a slight powdery finish. So I never ever have issues layering like a powder bronzer or blush right over top of the foundation directly. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna kind of build this up on the cheeks. I'm gonna also build it up into the hairline a little bit. It's such a good product, you guys. I can't get enough of this. Also gonna blend it along the jawline. Okay, I feel like that's good for now. I love how healthy my skin looks. Um, I'm gonna go over it with my sponge very lightly just to make sure that there's no harsh edges at all. I don't feel like there are, but I just like to do this just in case and it also helps to press in that powder product and make it look more like a cream. Okay, I love how the complexion looks so far. Next, I'm gonna go into a blush. So Persona Cosmetics recently launched two shades of blushes. These are their new super blushes and this is in the shade Carmel. And it's just a beautiful mauve pink tone. I really, really wanted to use this for today's tutorial. Another option is this one from ColourPop. This is the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights blush. And I believe this is the shade I Need Space. I'll have to double check that. It'll be listed and linked down below for you guys, but very, very similar in tone, very similar effect. And both of them have a little bit of a sheen to it. This one's a little more sheeny than the Persona one, but I really, really wanted to have a little bit more of like a flushed cheek look for this spring tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that on a brush. I'm gonna tap off the extra. This is extremely, extremely pigmented. So a little bit goes a very long way. I'm gonna start by just kind of pouncing it into this area here. I'm gonna kind of move over to this cheek too because even though I tapped off the extra product, they are so pigmented. So I'm just gonna kind of use that for both cheeks actually and kind of start to press that into the skin. And then I'm starting to use like circular motions to blend that around the entire cheek. I seriously used the tiniest amount of this, you guys. It is so extremely pigmented, which is great. So after I have the placement, I always go back in with my sponge and just kind of press around the edges. And I just feel like that helps to blend it into the rest of the makeup really nicely. So even though my cheeks look pretty flushed right now, blush is the first thing to fade. So I think for an everyday look, it's good to kind of start out with just a smidge more because it will kind of sink into the skin and fade a little bit throughout the day. These blushes are very pigmented and very long wearing, so you don't have to go too overboard with the amount that you put on, but I do usually like to apply a little more blush in the morning just to ensure that it lasts throughout the day. Okay, while we have the blush out, 
You guys know how much I love to multitask with my products. So I'm gonna take that same blush from Persona Cosmetics. Again, it's the shade Carmel. And I'm going to start to just pile this on the eyelid. So I'm gonna start by kind of packing it onto the lid itself. And then once there's a little less product on the brush, I'm just gonna start to buff that up and outward to kind of create a little bit of a fresh pink eyeshadow look. And we'll do the same thing really quickly on the other eye. Now you guys know that I normally will use some sort of eyeshadow primer or I'll prep the eyes in some way. For an everyday look, I usually skip that step, especially if I'm trying to save time. And I feel like this blush is pigmented enough to where it covers up that discoloration that I usually am concerned about. I'm just gonna add a bit more blush to this eye to kind of even it out. If you guys don't want to wear like a pinky eye look, you can definitely just go in with your bronzer and just add a little bit of color there. You guys know how much I love to use like your bronzer blush and highlight for your eye look. It's just the best way to kind of use what you're already using on other areas of the face. It saves so much time in the morning. I'm taking a clean brush and just buffing out the edges of the blush. And then I'm gonna take what's left on this eyeshadow brush and just do a light little buff on the outer third of the lower lash line. Another really easy thing to do for spring is to just take one shade of eyeshadow. Like say you want to use a pale yellow or a periwinkle or maybe an even softer pastel pink or something like that. You could just do a wash of that all over the lid, pop on mascara, and you have a super easy spring inspired eye look. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of highlighter first, then we'll go back into the eyes. So I've been really into more of a baked highlighter when it comes to highlighter formulas. And these two are the ones that I wanted to kind of tell you guys about. So this one is the Nabla Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder, and this is the shade Amnesia. So, so pretty, so vibrant. It's very buildable though as well, so you're not gonna get like too blinding of a highlighter if you don't like that, but you can build it up to that if you do want it. So I kind of like the multi-purpose formula that this has, the fact that you can kind of build it up if you need to or tone it down for daytime. The other one that's very, very similar, you guys can see how similar in tone these are actually. Um, this is from Revlon, it's the Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter, and this is the shade Daybreak Glimmer. Very similar. Very beautiful, love them both, but I'm gonna use the Revlon Skin Lights one because that's what I've been reaching for on a daily basis, you guys. Like, I cannot stop using these Revlon products. They're so, so good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to the high points of the face, making sure to dust it above the brow a little bit, but of course, we're focusing it more on the cheekbones. Same thing on this side, and then I always like to take what's left and apply it down the center of the nose. I don't go all the way down the nose though. I love it right here on my nose. And then a little bit on the cupid's bow. And while we're at it, I'm just gonna pop that underneath the brow. Since I didn't do my brows yet, I feel like I can get away with just like buffing it into the brow area entirely. I'm also gonna take just a teens and apply it right here in the inner corner of the eye. Going back in with my sponge, I'm just gonna make sure to soften that everywhere and kind of blend the edges and make it melt into the skin even more so it just looks like it's a part of my skin. Okay, this next part is completely optional, but for me personally, I love sparkle for daytime. I just feel like I feel the most myself with a sparkly eye on, and it doesn't mean that you have to spend too much time on it, and it also doesn't mean that it won't be easy to do. So I wanted to use the Stila Wanderlust Eyeshadow. This is the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Again, the shade is Wanderlust, but I found this in my collection, which looks pretty darn similar. The Stila one is not actually quite as glittery as this one. This is from Pixie. It's the Pixie and Miriam Maculage um, Glitter Eyeshadow, and this is the shade Mirage. So very, very similar effect, different products, different price points, but it just goes to show you that you can just dig through your current makeup collection and find anything that has a little bit of a sparkle to it. I was also playing with a lot of the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows, anything like that that's just really easy to do a little tap on the lid. Um, the Bodyography glitter pigments are great. Elf just came out with one that I really like. CoverGirl has some that are very similar. So really you can get the similar effect with a ton of different products out there and probably something that you already own. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Stila shadow. Now the reason why I chose this one was because it has a really cool duo chrome effect. So I'm just gonna start by just applying it with the applicator and then I'm taking my finger to blend that out all over the lid. I like this one because it has a bit of gold in it, but it also has a bit of pink in it, which I feel like will really complement the pink tones that I have going on in the eyes, but also I have a little bit of like a golden tone because of the highlighter and things like that. 
So it's just a good in between. And I just press this and blend it out all over the lid. Simple as that. Let's do the same thing on this eye. It takes like two seconds and then you have this really beautiful, glamorous but wearable eye look that I feel like is so easy to achieve, but it looks like you spent a lot of time on it. Those are my favorite kinds of products and looks for an everyday situation. If you're not a glitter type of person, you do not need to do this step, but if you've never tried like a glittery product like this, especially in the daytime, you should. These types of products make me feel so pretty, and I'm convinced that if you haven't tried them, because maybe you think it's too glamorous for every day or whatever it might be, just try it in the daytime and tell me what you think about it because it makes me feel amazing, even at like, eight in the morning, you know? I'm not gonna do anything on the lower lash line other than what we did with the blush. So let's go into mascara. I'm so excited I can finally talk about this mascara. I actually have a lab sample from Thrive Cosmetics. They just launched a new color. I'll show you the real packaging. I haven't received it yet in the mail, but they have a new black brown shade in their iconic mascara. This is their Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. Um, the only one that I've been using is the shade Brin because that is their original black mascara, but they have a new black brown, which is incredible. And I really wanted to show you guys, it's available now, but I wanted to show you guys what this looks like on the eyes. If you want something similar that's available at the drugstore, I wouldn't say these formulas are an exact dupe, but this is just another black brown mascara. The applicator is similar in this one, I will say that. But this is the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara, again in the shade Black Brown. You can see that one has a little bit more of a dark brown formula to it than the original black one. So I just feel like a black brown mascara is really great for an everyday look and for spring especially. It's going to give you nice defined lashes, but it's not going to be too harsh, which I love. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to the top and bottom lashes. But yeah, I've been actually testing this out off camera for a couple of months now, and I'm just so happy that it is now available because this is one of the best mascaras to ever exist. Like this formula is my go-to for every day. So you can see that that color of mascara obviously still defines the lashes very well, but it's just slightly softer. Can you see the slight like brown tone in it? I love it, it's so, so good. All right, next I'm going to apply a little bit of powder. My current go-tos for a look like this are first the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder and then the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. Um, I wouldn't say these are dupes for each other either, but just equally favorites, both high-end and drugstore. So I think I'm actually gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder today. I just want a very beautiful, lit from within kind of a look, but I still do wanna set the face. So I'm gonna take a small brush and dip into some of that um, e.l.f. powder. Before I set, I'm gonna take my sponge and just make sure that those areas in the T-zone are nice and smooth. And then I'm just going to press this into the face in the T-zone for me, I just, I get oily there. So that's where I always want to set the makeup. Also that concealer doesn't really need to be set, but I'm just gonna do it for good measure, you know, just to make sure that nothing budges throughout the day. I'm gonna make sure to set the tip of my nose. This has a little bit of a glow in it. The By Terry one doesn't have like a sheen to it like this one does, but I've been loving this one. I feel like it's such a beautiful setting powder that just looks like you aren't wearing powder because of the finish of it, but it sets the makeup really nicely. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the brows. I'm gonna be using the Thrive Cosmetics brow pencil. This is my go-to brow pencil for when I need my brows to be filled in quickly, but I need them to look really soft and natural. This is the shade Audrey and it's just the perfect shade for what I'm looking for. I do have drugstore favorites. I have two drugstore favorites currently right now actually. Um, one is this one right here. It's the Milani Precision Brow Pencil. This is great. And then I also love the, um, where is it? Here it is, the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. So I will have both of those options linked down below as well. I love both of those from the drugstore. But for today, I'm gonna be using this one. I just, I don't know, there's something about the shade of this and the formula of this that makes me fill in my brows so fast. And I feel like I never mess up with it. It seriously baffles me how quickly I can do my brows with this pencil. It's incredible. I love it, I love it, I love it. 
Okay, the brows are good for now. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off any foundation that got on the lips. And I have so many go-to lip colors right now, but I didn't wanna overwhelm you in this video, so I just picked two, one that's affordable and one that's more high-end. I love them both equally, and again, they will give a very similar effect. So the first one is from Persona Cosmetics. It's the Short Cake Lip Gloss. This is such an incredible everyday lip gloss, you guys. It doesn't feel sticky. It has enough color to where I don't have to use a lipstick or a lip liner underneath, and it's just a good one and done kind of a situation. Um, the second option is the ColourPop Lip Crayon in the shade Shaka. It's a very pretty mauve tone as well. This one's obviously not gonna be as glossy as the gloss, but it has a very similar effect in the sense that you don't have to use a lip liner or a lipstick, and it will give a little bit of a balmy sheen. Both are very comfortable on the lips. Both are very easy to use, easy to wear, easy to throw in your purse. So I wanted to share both of those with you. I'm gonna be using the Persona one because that is what I tend to use in situations like this. I just, I don't know, there's something about the tone, something about the formula that I cannot get enough of. So I'm just going to apply a bit of that all over the lips. I'm just going to add a tiny bit more blush, just using what's left on the blush brush. I'm just going to press that into the skin a little bit, just add a teensy bit more color. I'm also going to step back and add a little tiny bit more bronzer to the forehead. I'm just using that same Revlon bronzer. And now I'm gonna use a setting spray to make sure everything is locked in place. My favorite high-end setting spray for a glowy springtime look is the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. You can see how much I love this. I have several uh, favorite setting sprays currently, but these are very similar in effect to each other. So the more affordable option that will give you a very similar effect is the Fourth Ray Beauty Glisten Up Mist. This is what I'm gonna use today because I have more of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray that all over the face, focusing on the outer portions. Oh, I got it really damp right there, whoopsies. I'm just gonna make sure that both sides of my face are almost dry before going in with my sponge. That made things very glowy on the side of my face. I kind of sprayed a little too much, but that's okay. Once I feel like things are almost dry, I'm just gonna take my sponge and lightly press over everything on the outer portions of the face. This will hopefully pick up the extra setting spray that I sprayed on this side of the face. Whoops, but I love how glowy I look. Not too shabby. I'm just gonna take what's left on the sponge and press it in the center of the face just to soften things up there too. All right, for brows, I'm just gonna go into my Glossier Boy Brow. NYX makes one that is very similar to this that I will have linked down below. Before I forget, I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of the Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter and I'm just gonna kind of pinpoint that on the inner corners a little bit more than how I had it. I did have a little bit from the highlighter brush, but I always feel like a little extra highlighter right here never hurts. It just opens up the eyes and it makes me feel like my eye look is complete. I'm gonna take what's left on the brush and just pop it right here for even more of a pinpoint glow. Well, there you have it, you guys. That completes my easy everyday spring makeup look. I personally love this type of makeup. You guys already know. I always go for a monochromatic look when I'm trying to achieve something that's gonna be wearable for every day, but also very easy to create in a short amount of time because that's very important for any everyday makeup look, in my opinion. You can switch up the colors and use the same techniques and same routine that I did. And if you're not into pinks, if your favorite thing is peaches and corals, do the same thing, find a peachy blush, put that on the cheeks, put it all over the eyes, top it with something sparkly if you want to and use a peachy gloss. You know, you can really do anything with this type of a look for every day. This is truly my personal go-to routine. I love looks like this. And these are all products that I have been using nonstop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know in the comments what your current everyday spring look is. I wanna know if there's any products that you are just obsessed with for spring. I always love hearing from you guys. So if you have a product that you're loving right now that you love for this time of year or that's inspiring you, let me know in the comments below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are. Again, all these products, both drugstore and high end, will be linked down below, so be sure to check that out, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!